hey guys welcome back to the channel let's start this vlog with some hotness <laughs> okay guys i took a couple of selfies on this day because i had a church program yeah i got into the car i took a couple of selfies i was feeling fly i was feeling hot and i think i looked good on this day yeah women conference 2022 at rccg waterloo was a success oh my gosh look at this yummy food guys <laughs> enjoy the vlog i'm in church for a women conference it's so interesting here, my goodness. I'm so happy I came home. It's such an interesting day. We ate a lot of food. I'll put a picture here if I can find it. But yeah, now we are doing Bible games. <laughs> because we have to wear. <laughs> John 11.35. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> to you. <laughs> Pay attention for God has something to say. Second Corinthians 5 17. If any man thinks in Christ is a new creation, all things are past to me. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. All things Betsy is the name of the channel. Today I'm shopping at Africa Superstore here in Kitchener. It's really off uh, Victoria Street. I'm gonna show you guys um, just the way to get here, but it's quite easy to find. It's on Google actually, you can even find it from Google. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking you guys around the store and then showing you some of the products that they have. Yeah, if you are around, you can try. Particularly why I like coming here is that it's, it's not as choked as other African stores. Like you guys can tell from how I'm walking around. It's not tight, like yeah, so I guess that's what I wanted to just say. So whenever I come here, I don't feel like I'm being like clustered and like chased out of the store. Practically, I can move around, move my cart around. They have like really big aisles. Um, I mean, different areas. I'm just gonna go over them one after the other, but like, yeah. So it's a really big store. Um, they have a cold room right behind me here. So this is where I'm gonna be shopping for meat. Uh, most of the meat is in that freezer right there. And then um, what else do they have? Yeah, they have a store here underground where they have like a lot more food, gari, beans in like bags and all of that. So yeah, so it's a really nice store. Um, it's owned by Ghanaians, I guess. Yeah, but it's really nice. Um, I mean, one Africa, right? So yeah, come with me, guys. Okay, guys. Yeah, so they have a lot of plantains here. Peppers. That's like habanero peppers. And then, of course, ginger. Did you okay, see that yeah, garden egg? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Garden egg in Canada. Yeah, I come here for it sometimes when I just want to, you know, eat something that reminds me of home. Lots of dried fish, tilapia. I see seasoning. Yeah, so like maggi, crayfish, nor. And then they have big size pots guys yeah although they look really crude but yeah what i mean yeah if you want like large uh pots uh, for your cooking and stuff uh, i see that they have a lot of them a lot of custard uh particularly this checkers brand that i personally like i mean the one that has the milk already infused in it so yeah so i come here for that as well Aww. they have a lot of like different brands of like margarine <laughs> i remember this rosa brand my mom used to buy it when i was much younger so yeah it has a distinct taste to it uh there's a lot of mortar and pistol as well so yeah guys that's like real african stuff in this store the next hour has like more of their you know flowers like pounder yam flour gari in like bags already pre-packed so yeah in this and hour, stuff guys, this so yeah so i see a lot of fufu as well you know Ghanaians have their own kind of fufu that is not um, exactly the same with nigerian one but yeah but i mean they all taste alike i mean so yeah so they have like different kind of fufus here they have different kind of um you know corn flour different flowers actually when i was looking around i was just seeing different kind of stuff and then me i like ola ola as a brand that's the only pondo brand i actually like so yeah so i know they have it i come here for it a lot so yeah so they have all of that uh, if you move along you continue to see like different things spaghetti beans that's like honey beans brown beans up there um 
and they have like corn flour yellow corn flour um they have a co couple of spices i mean unique stuff right yeah and then of course some juices uh malt oh yeah ekpo ma local rice okay oh my do people <laughs> yeah i've never really bought local rice from them it's not like i'm looking for any much more stress than the regular rice uh they have yam actually this store is even referred to as yam seller on google yeah so they do have yams uh, a lot of yams um, but i think that day they were just running out um yeah but um and then of course you see a couple of other things like corned beef jerk seasoning jamaican jerk uh seasoning a lot of uh seasoning stuff like this maggi liquid maggi <laughs> it reminds me of my secondary school <laughs> when we used to carry that thing to school to spice up our food um i see some shea butter as well i see a couple of other you know local spices i guess Ghanaian spices like whatever uh zobo leaves uh they have i think they call it sobolo i don't know why they call it like that but maybe that's how they call it in ghana uh yeah but that's zobo um and then they have a couple of other spices and seasoning like rosemary kanjun or whatever they call it curry spices good curry jamaican seasoning um, I could say a couple of stuff, right? Uh, not all of them do I use, but I know that people might find this helpful. Then, yay, look at this lovely Hanes salad cream, guys. <laughs> I love this salad cream. It's like the best salad cream for me. Like, if I really want to eat salad and, like, get that nostalgic taste, that's the one I buy. Um, I have a couple of other things like um, coconut uh, flour. And then um, they have a lot of kente, uh, you know, fashion stuff here wig heads for i guess diy stuff and um, i think this is agege bread <laughs> yeah for those who care for it i mean they do have it uh palm oil up there uh, banga in cans lots of uh, attachment and stuff like i was saying and some kind of african specific like you know handbags maybe like handmade handbags and stuff um sardines i see sardines uh yeah so i mean it's a pretty well stocked store um from what i have experienced so far they even have a couple of like uh what are they called now like creams and you know things that would largely be like for africans to relate to like i personally bought black gel from them i used to struggle to find that thing on like amazon so yeah so i came here to buy it um they have a fridge area where they stock it up with like soft drinks and like you know i guess this one is just regular uh, soft drinks um, but of course you see things like malt and i think they also sell uh, okra uh, and pre-packed food like actually cooked um, african dishes they usually put it in the fridge yeah oh my gosh lots of malts uh yeah i came here to buy a, a, a crate of malt actually and then to the cold area, um, they typically have all kinds of stuff. Catfish, croca, different kind of stuff, guys. <laughs> Meat, beef, you know, stuff like that. Gizzard, uh, just a lot of things. So, yeah, so I'll be shopping for some uh, vegetables today and some meats. And um, let's see, I hope I'm able to meet within my budget. But, yeah, typically when you come to an African store, you just prepare your mind that <laughs> you're going to spend more because you're buying, like, Things that you can't find in a regular walmart or stuff and by the way i'm heading to walmart after this place so that was also something so today is a really busy day for me i just have a lot of shopping to do but yeah let's go so that i can you know cut my meat and have him uh give me some good meat and beef and stuff but yeah this is their meat area i like that in this particular store you can come you know price the meat based on your weight and all of that and then they'll actually cut it for you my earlier vlog i did on the, uh, a halal store in waterloo when i was still living in waterloo you guys remember that that was what i said i liked about that store as well the fact that i could actually cut the meat <laughs> so yeah so this is the guy <laughs> yeah he's the one the owner of the store mm he's actually a very nice guy i mean <laughs> i enjoy this company so essentially he just like you know once he weighs the meat you want to buy he goes ahead to slice them through using this uh um, you know automated <laughs> stuff yeah and then he cuts it up chops it up butchers it for you in the sizes that you like so this day i bought goat meat um this goat meat you guys see here was about 85 dollars worth of goat meat so yeah so goat meat is just a very expensive thing to buy anyway it doesn't have a lot of meat on it <laughs> yeah then i proceeded to weigh my pomo <laughs> yeah this pomo is like the thicker pomo like uh so I, i'm not even sure exactly what this one weighed but i remember in the price i think it came up to about 60 dollars so yeah so he proceeded to chop it up for me as well into like the sizes i typically like to have probably when i get home i'll cut it into smaller sizes 
then we proceeded to the beef <laughs> the beef was like the largest part of my shopping because uh, i mean that's what i use for most of my soups and stuff right so so you guys will see like i think i bought beef beef for uh, up to like 130 dollars or so yeah but i mean that day i was really lucky because the part of beef i, I found there was really meaty so <laughs> he was like as he was like this is my lucky day i say yes that's because sometimes when you come i mean they also buy it without selecting the parts right so they have to sell it to you whether there's bone there or not so yeah but this day i was really lucky so yeah so he was just cutting up the beef for me into the sizes like i had uh, explained earlier the sizes that i felt like good enough for me and my family so we proceeded to chop 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 beef and then i think that was really it um in terms of the meats i'm not sure i bought much more meat that day but yeah but you guys can just see he's really detailed like they try to keep it to the, the size that you like to keep asking you are you are you okay should i reduce it should i increase it you know things like that so yeah so it comes out really nice because some other stores i'm um, not like i'm doing negative marketing for anyone but um i guess you can save your time to just walk into a store and just pick up whatever it is they've already cut but the challenge with that is that when you get home however they've already cut it is how you have to use it right so it might be too big it might be too small but here yeah, i guess here is like the bespoke <laughs> <laughs> bespoke meat cutting for me and just the fact that i feel like yeah i can see the side of the meat not just buying something that is frozen i don't know guys me i'm just a bit particular about things like this <laughs> yeah so this was it when he was uh, wrapping up lots of meat um yeah i'm not gonna be buying meat for a long time as you guys can tell so yeah so that was uh it for my beef buying yeah so after buying i proceeded to the counter to pay i got a couple of stuff i told you guys a black gel a vino cream <laughs> yeah so he's just adding up my stuff um afterwards eventually we uh took my stuff down so yeah i like that they have a ramp actually like this is not something that is considered very important for some people but i particularly like it because if you're coming here to shop with like a baby buggy then you would want somewhere that you can easily roll down and not have to like start lifting your stroller you know on a step or something yeah so we just like you know drag the cart you can see someone is actually helping me i think that's one of his brothers or something so yeah so um while i vlog so yeah so the person just helped me to push the cart I'm just trying to show myself so yeah guys so this is it it's called um africa superstore right here on victoria street yeah so right behind me is victoria street um this is the store itself right there it has like Ghanaian flag canada's nigeria i'm not sure what the last country is but yeah too bad i don't know my flags <laughs> yeah but yeah so it's a pretty big place it has like a lot of parking space it has a lot of parking i mean i come here because of the parking as well the parking is really easy you can even tell like lots of space this is my car just right parked here so yeah so i mean very convenient place to shop you guys should probably try if you're in the region reach out check out this store african caribbean items are here lots of stuff come here particularly on like let's say fridays saturdays sundays if you want like a lot of meat because that's when they really stock new items but every other day of the week they have everything else in abundance don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel guys it means a lot to me when you subscribe it tells me that you like what i'm doing i'm at walmart i want to get a toy a gift actually for my godson yes my godson is turning one guys <laughs> yes i have a godson oh, in canada and i don't joke with that boy at all his name is muna yes so muna is turning one so um the plan is to quickly jump into walmart find him a gift and eventually i'll go to the african store to shop some meat and food items for the house so i also plan to vlog when i'm at the african store i hope i'm able to do that but yeah you guys shop with me a quick vlog actually nothing much nothing serious I'm sure why walmart is so busy today like ha. from outside it just seems like something is happening here i don't know what but yeah let's see so busy today there are no even carts here there are typically carts here and then there's none so now we'll be waiting for people to finish with carts or what yeah, guys, so yes yeah, son i couldn't find a cart so i just realized that i know why i couldn't see a cart at walmart monday is public holiday here <laughs> yes i think there's a public holiday on monday so yeah so public holidays in canada i already vlogged about it earlier everything is locked locked down you will even see any store to buy bread so yeah so that's why everybody's shopping like there's a holocaust or some kind of pandemic that would shut everyone down okay see i'm here and there's no cart 
no carts no carts <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> so you funny guys can't believe it i'm looking for carts at walmart this i, I never thought i would see the day <laughs> that i will be at a store in canada and i will not see carts to buy something like i cannot even see what i'll use and push my load this is interesting there, there's literally no carts <laughs> This one is locked or what? Oh, it moves now. Okay. But it's not a Walmart cart, is it? <laughs> it's for Sobeys. Oh my god. I found the cart and it's a Sobeys cart. But I came to shop at Walmart. So I don't know if they will allow me going with this cart. Well, let's see. If they don't, then I'll have to come out and start chasing people. And saying, after your cart, after your cart. Like I'm back to secondary school. So I really thought that my Sobeys cart would scream, don't take me into Walmart. Don't take me into Walmart. <laughs> I'm such a joker. I mean, now since uh, I thought there will be some kind of mechanism that will make the cart know that it's going into the wrong store, but since I made it in without any hassles, so I assume that I'm good to shop. So yeah, let me start my shopping. Oh my god, for the love of Walmart mangoes, like yo, you guys, quite expensive. I mean, for like an average fruit, right? But I love mangoes so much. So even if this is where all my salary enters or my EI from maternity leave. <laughs> Even if this is all I buy with it, not a problem. I'll just grab like four. Typically, I like to have like four mangoes for a week. Take it like one per day. <laughs> Ration it. Yeah, so let me start to shop. But yeah, I mean, Walmart is like a very large store now. You guys already know, probably. So yeah, a lot of stuff, like lots of stuff. Very big store. <laughs> yeah, lots of bread, cakes. Yeah, too many things, too many things at once, even. Yeah, I just grab a couple of oranges as well. This is not supposed to be a main shop, you know. I came here to buy toys. So yeah, let's see. We're gonna be making the, uh, fried rice this weekend. So let me grab a couple of green peppers. Yeah, this looks green and big enough in addition to the other one. Yeah pastry section kind of spot for choice i usually like this double chocolate or just the regular banana chocolate uh, cheap muffins oh yeah but i think i'll just go with this one <laughs> yeah the expiry is a bit far so i can still manage it for now yep 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 drop in the carts keep it moving yeah i need bread <laughs> ah guys when it comes to bread different different prices based on the calories i guess <laughs> the sweeter the bread the more expensive <laughs> so yeah this is like my guilty pleasure i usually buy this brioche just like when i really want to just have like a nice week but our typical bread is like the two dollar bread this way <laughs> but this one i think is about five bucks or so so yeah so i'll just grab like one of this for this week it's because a lot of people are in the store with me at this walmart i'm just really tired like i've not even done anything i'm already like overwhelmed the store is just so busy today it just seems like there's a war coming that i'm not aware of this feels a lot like how it felt before covid when everybody just had their buying things clearing everywhere off the tissues everything was just finishing <laughs> that's how i feel right now like everybody i couldn't even find a cart like tell me where that happens right so yeah quite crazy but yeah let me grab apple lots of apple here let me just see Dunstan's favorite is one of these red ones i don't even know maybe this one yeah six dollars it actually looks like a lot and they are so small not this one there's one red apple don't stand like see if i don't see it i'll just be going so i finally filled up my cart with the things i think are essential for us this week <laughs> just a couple of things bread some vegetables and some corn just because i've missed eating some sweet corn so i'm in the children's section now uh i want to find that gift I, I came for infants and toddlers yeah i might either get him an outing uh cloth like a nice outfit or i'll just look at all of these toys and grab one yeah walmart let's see what they have <laughs> nice things nice things Look for something that's age appropriate for like uh, one year old and then i'll just grab something and be on my way out i'm already so tired you guys can tell this is probably the worst day i should have even come to this walmart do you know there's a queue to even check out like the queue is long up to the end there and up to the end for the self-checkout ah i'm more <laughs> shopping before a public holiday and one the worst part is that like i'm on maternity leave so i could have as well come here on monday tuesday well like i didn't have to wait till this last minute so i'm just 
like judging myself right now like what the hell like could have come here since like yeah. who the hell i'm not coming yeah. to struggle with people who went to work all week line, guys the whole line god it's messed up it's so messed up anyway so yeah so i'm done shopping um these are what i got just a couple of stuff as i was saying so yeah i saw this nice lovely little dress <laughs> There's just no way I can shop and not buy something for Ola now, Ozzy. It's almost like <laughs> it's almost like a given. So I just saw this lovely wine looking outfit and I'm like, okay, I'll just grab it. Yeah. So I'll be on my way out now, guys. I'm I was wondering if I eventually got the stuff that brought me here. That's the gift for my godson. Yes, I actually did buy him something. I'm holding it right now. I just don't want to video it in this vlog. <laughs> yes, but I got him a lovely uh, gift. So yeah. But yeah, but if you've enjoyed the vlog so far, please hit like, subscribe to the channel. And thank you guys for watching so far. See you guys in the next one.